Hello, hello. Come on in, everyone. Come on in. Find your place at the table. There are tables open for you. We're grateful for you today. Come on in. Thank you. So grateful to be here. This is an original song I wrote, my version, my lived experience of kind of an amazing grace. Hippie pagan style. Thank you for magic revived. Thank you for life realized. Gracious is how we survive. Mm -hmm. Once I stifled by fear voices of doubt kept me day I have my chance to say thank you thank you thank you once I was blinded by grief sadness was all I could see does life and death mean to be free? Thank you for magic revived. Gracious Jory, that was beautiful. I asked Jory to sing that because it's one of my favorite ones that she wrote. Isn't it? Doesn't she write amazing music? <laughs> right? Totally. Yeah. Welcome to this morning, this day, 
and this opportunity to be together in community, which is a time of joy, comfort, spiritual growth, and today, so much gratitude. This Unitarian Universalist congregation is a place where we come to learn more about being human. We're not here because we figured out all of life's questions or because we think we've got it right. We come here to learn more about being in relationship together, how to listen, how to forgive, how to be vulnerable without breaking, how to be thankful, and how to create trust and compassion as a family, our family, this family, UUFF. My name is Renee Jansky, and I'm your music director here at UUFF. And if you're interested in getting involved with our music pro program, please reach out to any of the musicians today. Unitarian Universalism is a religious liberal tradition that values freedom in religious thought and journeys. We uphold the unity of our interconnection to each other, to all of life, and the universe in which we exist. You use choose to affirm love and hope as we journey together in community. And so we welcome you, whoever you are at this moment and wherever you are in your spiritual journey. We're glad you've chosen to be with us today. Please don't hesitate to ask the greeters or ushers for assistance if you have any questions. If you'd like to fill out a visitor's card, the ushers can also help with that. If you have a joys and concerns you wish to share or mark private, you're welcome to fill out a yellow joys and concerns card for the minister and caring team. And these can be handed, these will be handed in instead of dropping stones because it's a little bit different today. We'll be handing those in towards the front. I'd like to remind you to please turn off all cell phones. We don't want a cell phone solo, you know, in the middle of the great music. And friends, let us move into worship with gratitude, willing to be authentic with each other, honest with ourselves, and opening to connection in all its forms. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see all of you. I'm thankful for you being here. Thankful for our musicians. We have some special music today. We like to say every week is different here, and so here we are a different week. <laughs> We have done this in the past, but it's been a while. Back uh, BC, before coronavirus, we <laughs> would set up the tables. The Sunday before Thanksgiving is always our bread service, and there is bread. Also, there is gluten-free bread. Uh, when we get to that point, there is cider, there is water. It may be a little confusing and messy today, because it's familia. You know, we're around the table. Have you ever had a family dinner that was a little bit chaotic? Yes. Have you had one that wasn't? <laughs> so we invite you to, to loosen up and go, go with us. Now, in front of you, uh, hopefully you found a card that says, I am thankful for. And you didn't know it when you walked in, but you're writing the sermon today. Uh, and uh, you're invited to write down. And now... Whether you put your name is up to you. That's optional. It can be anonymous. But uh, to focus on one thing <laughs> that you're thankful for. I know that's hard. And later in the service, we're going to pick these up as well. Uh, or, or we're going to have you pass them down, actually. Um, and read. We'll see. Depending on the time, we'll, we, uh, we will be out by noon. But we'll read as many as we can. So we invite you to, to start working on that. I'm so thankful for, for today. It's, uh, it's cold, but it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Crisp uh, fall day. 
and so glad that you chose to spend it here with us. Leanda and Evelie will now want to chat us for us. And one other. <laughs> Hazley's going to help us light our chalice this morning, too. If, you, if everyone will join as she reads the words off the screen, Evelie's going to light it for us. Love is the spirit of this church, and service is its prayer. To go in peace, speak in knowledge and the truth. And help another, thus we come together. Thank you, thank you so much. If you would all like to stand, please, for our opening hymn. Singers, if you'd like to approach. It might be difficult for some to stand up here. Oh, if you can't stand, that's okay. Yes, however that works out best for you. Sing it together one more time. Thank you. You may be seated. So I know there are a lot of cards today, but if anyone has a yellow, one of the yellow cards, the joys and concerns that uh, you would like to turn in, pass those forward and indicate on there whether you want it read or not. And we have folks on Facebook as well. You can write that in the chat if you have a special need or just something special on your heart today that you want shared. And these do go also to our, our minister and our caring team for follow-up if needed. Of course, we'll all be sharing a lot of thanks in just a moment. I'm thankful uh, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preempt. If anyone else wrote this down, that's fine. But uh, did anyone else watch the Razorback game last night? <laughs> um, minor miracle or major miracle. And uh, I want to thank Laura Brewer and the soccer team. Laura Brewer is probably the Razorback soccer team's biggest fan. And Fawn. Fawn is. All right. But I want to thank also Laura, who helped every time we had parking uh, for the games. She's a superstar. Okay. Do you want to read some of them? Oh, wait. As we, as we think about these things that are, and other things that weren't expressed are on our hearts, I want to read uh, this uh, poem by Joy Harjo called Perhaps the World Ends Here. The world begins at a kitchen table. No matter what, we must eat to live. The gifts of earth are brought and prepared, set on the table. So it has been since creation, and it will go on. We chase chickens or dogs away from it. Babies teethe at the corners. They scrape their knees under it. It is here that children are given instructions on what it means to be human. At this table we gossip, recall enemies, and the ghosts of lovers. Our dreams drink coffee with us as they put their arms around our children. They laugh with us at our poor falling down selves and as we put ourselves back together once again at the table. This table has been a house in the rain, an umbrella in the sun. Wars have begun and ended at this table. It is a place to hide in the shadow of terror, a place to celebrate the terrible victory. We have given birth on this table and have prepared our parents for burial here. At this table, we sing with joy, with sorrow. We pray of suffering and remorse. We give thanks. Perhaps the world will end at the kitchen table while we are laughing and crying, eating of the last sweet bite. Thank you, Jane. Wow. Congregation leaders, both volunteers and staff members, work diligently throughout the year to be careful and attentive stewards of this congregation and its funds. Countless meetings, reports, documents, and budgets are necessary to maintain the health of an organization especially one that has endured for as many generations as UUFF has. We depend on our tools and on our teams to track where every dollar goes, and they do just that. But the gifts that you make through our weekly offering or through your annual pledge represent far more than lines on a spreadsheet. I mean that. You represent far more than lines on a spreadsheet, and your giving represents far more than lines on a spreadsheet. Your contributions, in fact, are a tangible commitment to the mission and the vision of UUFF. Honestly, for me, giving to UUFF is a spiritual practice. I was reminded of how very precious you are to me um, this spring when I got pretty sick with a little heart <coughs> issue, a little heart issue, and after I told my immediate family the first person, the first people that I wanted to reach out to were, were you, um, my church family. So we give to remind ourselves how many gifts we have to offer. We give to remember that we are part of something much bigger than ourselves. We give because we believe in music and ritual and sacred space. We give with the faith that together we have enough. 
Let there be an offering for you, UFO. It's my pleasure to introduce um, one of my besties. This is Ginger Doss, and uh, they are a s yes, and they are a performing singer-songwriter uh, that tour the nation, um, like me. And so it's a pleasure, <laughs> and with me sometimes. That's exactly right. So it is a real pleasure to be bringing you their original number. Thankful for our anthem today. <laughs>
anybody hungry? <laughs> so we're getting close to that. Uh, so if you would pass your what you're thankful for cards down. And we're about to do the bread communion part. So start getting bread, passing bread, get some bread. We don't have plates or napkins, so just do the best you can. And also pour yourself a drink. Now it gave, it gave Carol Olson a minor heart attack when I told her that I was gonna let people pour drinks at their own tables. But we tr we're trusting, just let go. So there's apple cider and there's gluten-free water and, and gluten-free bread. If you need the gluten-free bread, raise your hand. Just, we'll, we'll read what we can. Now let me shuffle on in. Oh, there's that one's short. We'll go back and forth. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do you want to stand up here for the uh, for the words, or over there? It might, just for the camera people, it might be easier if you were up here. Okay. Now, I forgot to say don't eat yet. Don't eat. So, but if you, some of you I can see are chewing, so that's fine. We're gonna say a few words. Just consider it like a warm up for the, for the bread communion. <laughs> I do remember, some of y'all may remember in the past, I remember sometimes in the past where it's almost, it was tantalizing, almost torture to have to sit there with your bread, you know, look at your bread, smell your bread, study your bread. I'm like, I want to eat the bread. But Renee and I are going to say a few words and then we'll all communally eat together. Our communion, communion's about community, you know. Our communion today uses the symbol of bread to teach us about our connections. You and I, we must eat to live. From our first breath, we are seeking nourishment. And when humans baked the first breads, they created a great source of not only food, but a loaf of life a symbol of life's entanglement with the universe around it. Bread is made of plants, of their ground up seeds and nuts and fruits into a flower. Bread ultimately is made of earth and sunlight and water and air, all the elements of our being. The elements are used to transform this flower into bread from the earth. A flower, air feeds the fires, fire to transform the mixture of water and flour and your favorite ingredients, yeasts and other leavening agents that make air pockets as they use the warmth of fire. The fire dying out, drying out the mixture to make it light yet substantial. We invite you now to pick up your bread. <laughs> Feel it in your hand, smell it, go ahead, bite it, <laughs> taste it. Mmm, another bite maybe. Maybe water or juice to wash it down. You know how it goes. <laughs> So many breads. I made a list of the types of breads. 
the sopapilla, mm, the croissant, the sourdough, the biscuit, the dumplings, the baguette, the pita, the bagel, the waffle, the cornbread, the pon de queijo, which is sort of like the cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster, <laughs> the pretzel, the muffin. My wife tells me cake is not bread. So we won't even mention cookies and pies no. and other and donuts. Okay. All bread in my opinion. Now, look up from feeding yourself and look around. Look into the eyes of others in your community. Take a moment and thank them for sharing breaking and eating bread together with you today. Take that moment. And now take your cup and tip your water or juice to them. Let us toast to each other, to our community. May we always have clean air to breathe, cool water to drink, fire to warm us, and bread to nourish our souls. Whatever our soul is. Yes. <laughs> All right. You want to do, yes. do it over there, the cards? Yes. Pleasure. So we're going to read. Y'all just keep on if you want to keep eating. There's plenty of bread. I think there's more in the kitchen, so don't, no need to skimp. Renee and I are going to read uh, some of the cards as many as we can till we till we feel like time is uh, is getting in short supply. So I'm thankful for this UUFF community and being able to be myself here. That's from Renee. Now y'all wait, wait, don't clap, because we'll never get through all no these. Okay. Save your applause for the end. <laughs> Just save your applause for the end. This is like an opera. Okay, this is from Jules. Living in a beautiful, progressive community that finds value in the arts. From John, my wife of 48 years, my best friend and partner in life. Applause are okay. Just save the applause. That's okay. right. That's yeah. right. This is from Daniel. The health and happiness of my family for friends both far and near. From Lee Turner. Reconnecting with my Arkansas family now that I live here, especially for my uncle's improved health. This one is an anonymous one, but this person is thankful to be here with their church family. From Jennifer Dunn. All of the people who've helped me during the toughest season of my life. This is from Sharon. That I was raised in a loving family that taught me to love and embrace all people. This is anonymous. I'm thankful for this service, allowing me to procrastinate doing my housework. <laughs> this is from Bill Nichols. That Bill is grateful that our nation is at peace. For people who live to help others. For you, you, and all who you, you, all who we cherish. That's from Bill. From Nancy Garner. Having had, I'm thankful for having had responsible, loving parents and grandparents. This is anonymous. This person is thankful for the uplifting power of healing through renewed oneness with the divine. From Mike Shermer, I'm thankful for my wonderful family here in Arkansas and Los Angeles. Natalie is thankful for each day and for her children. Rebecca, I'm thankful for my precious younger brother, Bill. Mag 
Magnus is thankful for his family and he says, Happy Thanksgiving. From Steve, I'm thankful for a welcoming community that has embraced us as new members. Okay, Natalie, what's the name of your other young person? Thorsten. Okay, Thor. Okay, Thorsten is thankful for a new house and also says, Happy Thanksgiving. From Ashley Eldridge, I am thankful for this community. Amelia says they're thankful for school, food, and people, and so much more. From Brooke, I'm thankful for my wonderful and kind daughter who gifts me with her love every day. Carol sh shares that she is thankful for UUFF and everyone here, as well as her friends and family. Ollie is thankful for all of my supportive and amazing friends who've helped me through tough times. This is anonymous. This person is thankful for the outreach of all the arts community to provoke thought lend frivolity and amazing beauty in view and in movement. Paisley is thankful for love, change, kindness, UUFF. <laughs> Maddie Bentley, my awesome piano student, shares that she is grateful for the welcoming community she gets here and that she gets to grow up with the privilege that she has to be openly who she wants to be here. <laughs> mm. Evely, I'm thankful for my family and earth and UUFF food and drinks. Love, love, love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Melly shares that they are thankful for family both blood and chosen, who have accepted and supported me and my child in our gender journey. Sean, thankful for my family, friends, fur babies, books, movie, good food, beautiful nature. There's one thing, one thing. <laughs> and, and you, you. We're thankful for you, Sean. <laughs> A lot of thankful. Robin shares that they are thankful for the journey from sorrow to acceptance to change. Mm. From Dallas, I'm thankful for community, a safe space for all. Jory shares that she's thankful for the feeling that music brings, <laughs> the gifts of nature, connections with friends here and beyond, the magic of children learning and growing. Charlotte Taylor, I'm thankful for the trailblazers who founded this fellowship in the 1950s. A wonderful yeah, <laughs> group of strong people uh, who lead us today. There's an anonymous, there are two in a row here that I'd like to read together. It's anonymous and this person is thankful for Derba. And then Derba shares that they are thankful for Sam. From Dinah, I'm thankful for our media team and, t and other teams and board who keep essential things going here. This person, this anonymous person shares that they are thankful for their healthy body, mind, and spirit, that they can greet and be greeted with loving hugs. From Brenda, I'm thankful for two kids, their two spouses, and six children, and one dog coming in this week for the holiday. <laughs> Yay. Bettina shares that she is thankful for her grandson, Archie, who is 11 months old. Her son, Gabe, and daughter-in-law, Hayden. Is that right, Hayden? Okay. And the chance to be family together. It's nice to have you here, Bettina. So good to see you. Good to have you with us. From Joe Ucolano, I'm thankful for the dedication of love and service that so many people give to keeping our UUFF a beacon of hope for all. 
Mindy shares that she's thankful for the opportunity to come back to UUFF and reconnect with her faith and share it with her children. Thrilled for my kids to know the love and peace it's given me. So thank you. From Leanda, to be here after a very scary health episode this summer. Laura shares that she's thankful for love given and received. And Razorback scores. <laughs> Friends. 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 We'll not be calling the hogs at the worship service. I'm <laughs> from Kate. I'm thankful for so many people and things today for the blessing of family, friends, and this community. Fawn shares that she's thankful for a community that loves and cares without question. This is anonymous. I'm thankful for Renee and Renee's positive response to her health concerns. Read another one. <laughs> Stop. Don't. <laughs> Read another one. All right. I'm thankful for being alive. And having a home to stay in, warm and cozy this winter. Anne shares that she's grateful for the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of Fayetteville and for all of us. I'm thankful for the UUFF community, this is from Susie, who have enriched my life and provided essential human connections. Ruth is thankful for family, job, house, and dog, educational opportunities, and our health. I think we're going to make it. I only have two left. Three. Three? All right. I'm <laughs> what? Oh, Facebook. That's right. I'm thankful for another day of life. Annette is thankful for songs and music, smiles and friendships, hope, home, family, and A-R-E. Is that right? Yeah. UUFF. UUFF is all that one says. UUFF. Okay. Gabe shares that he's thankful for any Democratic wins in the midterm elections. I was waiting for that one. The Senate? Hello. From the mouths of babes, Gene. From the mouths of babes. <laughs> Stephanie shares that she's thankful for the earth, for meaningful work for art, for her loved ones, for time, and for her health. And I, I'm questioning, Jean, um, <coughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, get one from you. Uh, oh, I tell you what, let's do, you oh. don't know, you don't know <laughs> the anonymous ones. I could have written one about you, you don't know. I, so Facebook, and I also skipped joys and concerns from Facebook. So we, if we have joys and concerns or things people are thankful for, sorry, Facebook world. Leanda, would you read those? Or, or RJ, yes, thank you. They were all pretty much um, along the same lines of being so thankful for the Facebook service and being able to feel connected um, not only during COVID but afterward. And also, um, many of them shared concerns about uh, the LGBTQ community in Colorado. Um, and many of them were thankful for their home, for their family, for their friends, and for the fellowship here in the Fayetteville community. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So glad we can we can connect virtually with people uh, around the state and even uh, several who are out of state who join us regularly. So I had a whole thing prepared. I wouldn't call it a sermon, but a, a thing just in case like nobody turned in a card. So, and it's 22 pages long. <laughs> I'm just going to read a little excerpt. It's it's actually. Uh, Something written by Robert Ingersoll. Have you heard of Robert Ingersoll? Famous in the 1800s, he was uh, named the great agnostic in an era where very few people challenged <laughs> the norm of Christianity. He stood up and challenged it a lot. 
Well, somebody asked him once, will you, and I've had people say this to me, by the way, maybe you have, why do you even celebrate Thanksgiving? You've got nobody to give thanks to if you don't believe in, in the God I believe in, like you've, and so he wrote a sermon, which is 22 pages long, which you can look up, <laughs> called the Thanksgiving Sermon. And I want to read you just a little bit from, uh, from the end of it. He says, standing here at the close of the 19th century, so more than 100 years ago, here on this day that has been set apart for Thanksgiving, I most reverently thank the good men and the good women of the past. I thank the kind fathers, the loving mothers of the early days. I thank the father who spoke the first gentle word, the mother who first smiled upon her babe. I thank the first true friend. I thank our ancestors who hunted and fished that they and their babies might live. I thank those who cultivated the ground and changed the forests into farms, those who domesticated horses, cattle, and sheep those who invented wheels and looms and taught us to spin and weave, those who by cultivation changed wild grasses into wheat and corn and worthless weeds into flowers and sowed within our souls the seeds of art. I thank the poets of the dawn, the tellers of legends, the makers of myth, the singers of joy and grief, of hope and love. I thank the philosophers. I thank the astronomers, the geologists, the anatomists, the chemists, the physicians, the surgeons, the great inventors, those who gave us movable type and the press. I thank the industrious men, the loving mothers, the useful women. They are the benefactors of our race. I thank the honest men and women who've expressed their sincere thoughts, who've been true to themselves. I thank the great poets, the dramatists, the novelists, the sculptors, the painters. I thank the statesmen who preserved the rights of man. I thank Abraham Lincoln for the Emancipation Proclamation. I thank the heroes, the extinguishers of hate's eternal fire, the breakers of chains, the founders of free states, the makers of just law the apostles of reason, the disciples of truth, the soldiers of freedom. With all my heart, I thank them all. So, Robert Ingersoll. Our closing hymn, I don't, if it works for you to stand, if it works for you to sit, but we do want everyone to sing one of our favorite uh, Thanksgiving giving songs we give thanks this is a, a tradition we do this one every year come on up singers oh we give thanks for this precious day for all gathered here and us far away for this time we share We have different. The words changed, didn't they? <laughs> I think we have different words in there. That's okay. That's okay. Let's do the first verse Let's one more it. time. Let's just, do it. just the first verse. Okay. Sing loud and clap. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, we give thanks for this precious day. For all gathered here and those far away. For this time we share. Time to extinguish the chalice. Yes.
Am I going to have help up here? <laughs> you want to read the word? Sure. Okay. We extinguish his flame, but not the light of truth. The warmth of commitment or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are gathered again. Okay. Well, thank you all for a wonderful bread service today, and we are going to finish with a postlude. Um, uh, and uh, you, c you may get up and mingle around, and uh, let's go. Take some bread.